What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. It's Tuesday. Tuesday the 12th. It's today the 12th. What's going on? Hope everybody had a good weekend. I needed a break. The diva needed a break. Uh, she had a little... I had to take a mental health day, but I did go to work. I just didn't... I just didn't make any... I didn't feel like talking to y'all. I mean, not like that, but I just didn't feel like talking and talking about other people's goddamn problems. I got my own shit to be worried about, so... <laughs> to be I had to get my life together some days sometimes I have pity parties and um, every now and again because I am an overthinker I tend to think about you know what have shoulda coulda um, I think about my current station in life my current tribe or lack of um, I think about a lot of things and it puts me in a sad space because I can make choices on whether to deal with the toxicity and have in 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 a in a attempt to have some type of tribe around me, or I could just be where I am and deal with what I deal with, um, in terms of not having a great support system. So I get I get really down about that. Is and, you know, a lot of people say, like, oh, it's no big deal being a single mother, but everybody's not strong like that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's not, everybody doesn't, the switch doesn't automatically come on. Some people need help. So, so it's either, either accept help and deal with toxic behavior or deal with having some level of peace of mind, but then also feeling like, fuck, you know? So, I had to take a day to get my life together <laughs> for that, but I'll be all right. So, because we all are and everything works out. It's just, it just, it really, it, it pains me that I see so, like, I don't even want to talk about it. Anyways, um, so, let's talk about other people's problems, shit. <laughs> talk about ours. I haven't dyed my hair. That's how you know. I'm not really feeling it. I haven't done my eyebrows. I haven't dyed my hair. I'm just like, Ugh, you know, Ugh. so I just not in that, that kind of, that space, you know, anyways. So did you, um, over the weekend, a lot of things happened over the weekend. Um, the R Kelly thing played, did y'all watch it? What did y'all think about it? Um, the whole, the full thing played. I'm really mad that I didn't get to watch the. I haven't. I still haven't watched the full thing because I don't want. I, I need to go. I would have to go find it, um, on online, or you know, um, in my Fire TV. So I haven't watched the whole thing, and I'm mad because I actually spoke about this show and didn't see the full thing. I, I don't like. I don't like making um, videos based on a trailer or based on unless that's well unless that's just the topic we talking about the trailer but trying to analyze and come up with a, an informed opinion about something but only watching 10 minutes of however long is that's silly to me i really feel like deleting that video but because it's not a well informed video i mean whatever i know it's probably just some of the same bullshit but me personally i don't like to do shit like that anyways um what else? And remember last week I talked about Elizabeth Warren, how she drains me and how, what the, but the story was about her taking down um, me media tech giants like Google, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, Facebook would not run the ads for that. They did not run the ads for that. So they're denying that they, that they didn't run ads for that, but they have proof that they, they were not running ads saying that Elizabeth Warren was going to take down Facebook. Um, that's not cool because you should be able to express what you're, you should be able to report, um, or post stories that are reporting on, even if you are a part of the news, you know? So I don't know about Facebook. I haven't had a Facebook account in so long. Um, like I, I said that the other day, like I just don't, the way that they have been operating in terms of privacy laws and data, it's just, you guys are really suspect. And I can't imagine somebody like Mark Zuckerberg being in charge of something that big and something that has, I mean, I don't know, Facebook has just, I remember being on Facebook and before I like deactivated my page, I would always complain to people that I knew on there 
and people you know that I was friends with on there like I just don't like the way that it feels when I log on I feel like the it the frequencies that are coming off of my screen is causing me to become like I feel like my emotions are being manipulated and I don't like it I do not like feeling like that at all I'm very sensitive in that way. I don't like that feeling. So I was like, I need, and no, and no, I don't think that, I don't think that anyone who I expressed that to understood where I was coming from probably was like, Erica, you're fucking crazy. But I felt like it would, I feel like Facebook emits low vibrational frequencies. I believe that it does. And I believe it does manipulate your emotions. I believe it does pick and choose what you see. I believe, you know, I just, in terms of frequencies and the energies that it was given off, I never, I would, I would become angry when I would log. I mean, like, and then be like, what are you mad about? And I'm just like, what the fuck is wrong with me? I fucking hate this fucking app. I hate it. Like, I hate it. So I deleted it or deactivated it because I'm like, I can't, I'm not feeling, this is not right. I don't, I don't feel good. Right. Um, I don't know. I didn't, and and then a lot of a lot a lot of it a lot of it was just like people saying too much. Like the character limit on Facebook needs to be taken back down to 256 because it gives people so much room to express. I know we all say the shit we want to say and have different perspectives and everything, but I I'm glad I don't I don't know. I I just have so many critiques about Facebook and I just think it's whack. So anyway so hopefully you guys can see me i just realized it's dark you know the time change daylight savings time ended um has it messed with any of you i i my i guess i did okay i think i'm feeling okay i don't feel like i'm tired or anything um i stayed up really really late last night because of the time change so maybe i'll be tired today i don't know um did you guys go see captain marvel it came out i haven't seen it i heard it it was very good and it did better than i thought it would do that i thought it would do because i noticed so many white men are just like y'all know captain marvel is a character and it was probably it's a character before you even came out of your fucking daddy's ball sack my nigga like why are you guys so mad at this woman female superhero like why are you mad at her like why are you on Rotten Tomatoes giving it low scores? Like, just fucked up. Like, just sexist and just misogynistic and just like... But I'm glad that it did well. Um, uh, someone said that it's not... It's nothing like what you are seeing on, on, on the trailer. Totally different. They said they did like a really good um, tribute to St Stan Lee, I believe... Did they say they did a good, was that, was that on Mar Captain Marvel that they said they did a really good tribute to him? I think it was Captain, Captain Marvel that they said that. So hopefully, you know, every time I think about Stanley, I get emotional. I don't know why I get, I just do. Um, I remember watching in, uh, Spider-Verse uh, my, with Miles Morales and Spider-Man. Um, and I, when they showed his animation, I was like, oh my God, Stanley. <laughs> and then they did like a little tribute to him with his glasses at the end. But I heard that they did film a lot of his cameos for upcoming features. So we might not be without Stanley in some of the features. I, that's what I've read somewhere. So correct me if I'm wrong, but you know a lot of shit that we read be wrong so <laughs> so what 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 so did y'all watch captain marvel and what did y'all think about it um i saw this story i saw a couple of stories about there being a shortage or black hairstylists not being hired to do black actors hair did y'all see that story because i'm like how is that possible? How are you not hiring black hairstylists to do the, the men and women, their, their hair on set? Why would you hire somebody that does not know black hair? Like, and why wouldn't you go out and seek? Or why wouldn't you ask the actors, who do they go to and hire these people? I know they got to be in some kind of union for stylists or whatever the fuck. But y'all can hire black stylists to do these people's hair. I don't understand it. I just, I don't get, I don't even understand how that is an issue for a black actor to get a black hairstylist to do their hair why aren't the studios hiring black hairstylists to do black people's hair 
well, I don't I just I just don't get it. I just don't understand why is that a thing? That even that should not be a thing as many as much as our hair means to us. As much as it does. I can't imagine black artists not having people who look like them doing their hair. It's there can't be a shortage of black hairstylists out here. How, where do, who do these people go? Who do these actors go to when they're not on set? Why aren't they recommending black stylists? I don't get like, I don't know why that upset me or made me mad because it doesn't make sense. As much as we are about our hair and styling and different styles every other week and every other day, every, every other day, it's a new hairstyle, a new wig, a new something. Y'all don't know black hairstylists to, in, to go into Music, film and, and, and television and and be hairstylists to other black hair hair um actor I don't I don't even I just don't understand it. I just don't get it. I just don't get how I just don't get it. I just don't get it. What I also don't get is goddamn a 38 year old man proposing to a 19 year old girl. 40 year old man going out with adult teenagers is sick. I don't give a fuck how you spin it, how you paint it, how you turn it upside down, I don't care. Marcus Houston is 38 years old and proposed to a 19 year old. So what you gonna do, take her youth? Like, what is wrong with me and just taking and taking and taking and taking? Take, 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 take. Just taking, why would you do that to that girl? Why would you make a choice to say, this is the girl that I want to marry? At 19, what are y'all talking about? You two generations older than her, my nigga. She was not alive when Reasonable Doubt came out, my nigga. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you niggas? That shit pisses me off. There's no way that you could spin a man stealing a woman's youth, a young girl, 19-year-old. Why would you? Why would you do that? Because you want to control somebody. You want to take somebody's youth and turn her into a bitter ass black woman. And then when and then when that happens, now, oh, she's not valuable. She's not this and she's not that. Nigga, you took everything from her. Why would you do that? And then they said that's Chris Stokes' daughter. Chris Stokes ain't got no fucking kids. Fuck out of here. And nobody's letting Chris Stokes stick their dick in there. <laughs> not no woman anyway sorry whatever whatever shit that shit is crazy to me you gonna propose and then they trying to say well he's known her since she was a little girl that makes it even worse you just saw this girl grow up and as soon as she turned 19 you say i want to marry her what is this the fucking color purple out this motherfucker what the fuck is wrong with you niggas like uh uh why do you want to do that i was just thinking about that then I thought about, I was watching, I've been catching up on Love and Hip Hop Miami. I'm like on episode eight. And I was watching that scene with Jessie Wu when she, uh, she confessed that she had been raped by somebody in the music industry. And I just thought to myself, all you niggas want to do is take, 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 take. If she, take from her, take from her, take from her everything. I felt so bad for her. I felt like, and then, what's the other girl, Chinese Kitty or whatever her name is, she said she had been uh, drugged, raped, and then thrown out in, on the street outside of a car and stuff like that. Isn't that Akineli's daughter? Uh, isn't that uh, isn't that Akineli's daughter? Isn't Chinese Kitty or her mama, whatever, isn't she married to Akineli? That's what I thought. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I would felt so bad, and all I could do is think about how these girls have held, first of all, held uh, held this thing to themselves all this time. And then, like, when they were with um, Tarana Burke, and they just kept saying to the girls, we believe you. Because how many times... I'm not even going to get into that. Anyways, no 38-year-old man needs to be trying to marry. Trying to marry. He don't even need to be in her face. What are you guys talking about? What do you have in common, my nigga? nothing nothing in common that is a child 19 years old 
I don't care if the law says she's an adult. That is a child. A teenager. That's disgusting. If she was with a 20 year old, 21 year old, 25 year old even. But you with a 38 year old nigga, he old enough to be some he old enough to be somebody's grandfather in these day in this day and age. God damn it. Like, are you serious, Marcus Houston? Fucking pervert. That's some pervert shit, my nigga. J Lo is engaged to Anthony Rodriguez. Like, so we we had a we had a prediction. We had a prediction on our channel the other day. Miss Leo 814. She said, I bet you anything. She gonna marry, she gonna marry A-Rod. Three days later, he proposed. <laughs> three goddamn later. Three goddamn days later, he proposed. J-Lo is on her fifth engagement ring. <laughs> Somebody, some ring company was posted. She's on J-Lo was not gonna marry Ben Affleck, nor have babies with that white man. She was not gonna have babies with Puffy either. That that was that was at the beginning of their like, you know. That, and that wasn't gonna happen. wasn't no, wasn't gonna be no babies with J Lo and and Sean Combs. wasn't gonna, And she definitely wasn't gonna get married and have any babies with Ben Affleck. She married every every person she she married. They been Latino. They been Latino. So she's marrying a rod um i how old is jennifer lopez she got to be damn near 50 is she if she not 50 yet um i hope that she doesn't think that this is an opportune time to have babies you have two children leave it don't do nothing i hope she doesn't think that she wants to have it just no is she almost 50 years old something like like how old is jennifer lopez she got to be 50 ain't, ain't michael jackson and and and, and uh, madonna 60 she got to be almost 50 years old jennifer lopez got to be I, I don't know she got to be 50 years old. I don't know. I don't know. But she, her and A-Rod are getting married. And then Jose Conseco was um, tweeting Jennifer Lopez talking about call, putting his number out there talking about call me. I'm going to tell you how much um, Anthony is cheating. A-Rod is cheating on you. What? Are you serious? What is wrong? What is wrong with Jose Conseco? He always acts so erratic and so trollish. Like, he's like... He's so obnoxious. He really is. Jose Canseco is so obnoxious. I used to think he was so cute when I was in, when I was a young girl, a young diva, young junior high diva. I used to think Jose Canseco, when he played for the A's, I used to think he was so cute. But he's crazy. He's tweeting Jennifer Lopez talking about, call me, call me, and put his number. Everybody was like, um, that's not how DMs work. <laughs> that is, that is not how DMs work, Jose. <laughs> Speaking of sports, let's talk about, let's get back, let's get into sports. Oh, Russell Westbrook, that's funny because I got three sports things on here. Russell Westbrook cut some, cut some fans out last night, told that man he would hit him and his wife. I was like, wait a minute, what happened? Like, why is it? Because, you know, what? Russell Westbrook will cut, that's hard to say, Russell, Russell Westbrook. Say that three times fast. Russell Westbrook, Russell Westbrook. I forget it. I can't say it. <laughs> say Russell Westbrook three times fast. Anyway, he cussed that man out and told him he would slap him or hit him and his wife. Turns out, these motherfuckers told him to get on his knees, to be on his knees like you used to. So, Russell Westbrook was like, he felt like that was on some racist slavery shit. Like, what the fuck? And that's why he cussed him out. And I didn't know that the NBA had a fan code of conduct. They need to put that at the um for the Raiders. Do the NFL have a, a fan code of conduct? Because the Raiders fans, y'all niggas be acting like one flew over the cuckoo's nest. A scene out of one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Is there a NFL fa a, a, a code of conduct? <laughs> a fan code of conduct? They basically said the fans, well, you know, the fans are really not allowed to heckle them because first of all, they're there to entertain. That's one. And number two, if they're off of their game, they're not going to be, they're not going to play. They're going to end up cussing out a fan and get, uh, you know, removed or whatever. But he did fine. They, he he told him he would knock his ass out and his wife too and they told him about getting on his knees about something so i was like oh okay well then i don't have any problem with what you said <laughs> i don't have no problems with it at all um 
Jaleel uh, Ade, Ade, Jaleel Ade play for the Chargers. He don't play for him no more. Remember, I posted it on, my, on, the, on the community this morning. The man who said, cheers to light-skinned babies. Cheers to light, here's to light-skinned babies, right? With your white wife playing for the NFL. That nigga's ass got cut from the Chargers this morning, last night. When did he get cut? All I saw, I saw the headlines this morning. Remember him? Yes. He got cut. Sorry, she gonna leave you at, you leave your ass. And then when you struggling, you probably gonna try and find you a black woman to hold you down. Fuck that nigga and whatever shit he gotta go through to hold, put, keep that woman at bay. That white woman is gonna take all of your, all of the rest of your little check. <laughs> she gonna take the rest of your little check. Ain't, ain't gonna be no more light skinned babies. Your, your baby might have another light-skinned sibling because she'll find another nigga to attach herself to who's getting a new contract. You was with the Chargers for six years and they cut your ass. He cheers to light-skinned babies. <laughs> NFL stands for not for long. You shouldn't have your ass playing for the NFL in the first goddamn place. But do y'all really think that the, these NFL players, that white women are encouraged to go to them so that they can in that so they can get the money and the wealth instead of a black woman or going back into the black community if he were to marry a black woman do y'all truly believe that white women are basically pawns in the nfl to get these niggas to marry them because of course they're they already know like they understand the idea that the, they see value in white women in terms of how they view them as success nick cannon said it your 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 local fucking turban wearing ass nigga he said it and they see value in white women so do you believe that white women are pawns in the game of the nfl getting these players to marry them and then them being able to um, benefit or reap the benefits of that wealth. What do y'all think? Do y'all really believe that? I don't know. What uh, do y'all think? It's okay for Marcus Houston to be with that girl? Cause I'm just talking shit. I mean, and I'm 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 dead ass. Do y'all see anything wrong with a man going with a girl? How old? Two generations? Twelve? Twelve years? Would it be okay for me to be dating a man 12 years younger than me? Like, that's what I was talking about with the R. Kelly situation. Would it be okay if that was a woman fucking 13 and 14 and 15 year old boys and traveling with them and trafficking them and taking them across state lines to have sex with them? Would it be okay for me to be a 52 year old woman walking around with a 23 year old man and a 21 year old man would that be okay or would he be like dl hughley how he said on the breakfast club that he didn't see anything wrong with it that is something wrong when when we encourage little boys to have sex with older women do you realize you mess up the context of what sex is when you do that like when that that like I said, y'all don't give a fuck about these kids. I've been reading so many things about crimes against children and people doing children wrong. Children are so vulnerable. They look to us to protect them and to guide them and to provide them structure. And you're going to take it upon your weak self to try to abuse children. I, I just, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just think it's, I think that people do not care about these kids. Would it be okay if Marcus Houston was a 38-year-old woman marrying a 19-year-old man? You would guys say, he's not going to be able to be out and fuck everybody. He won't be able. Now he's going to be with her. He's going to be stuck. He's going to be stuck saying that's how we feel about a 19-year-old girl going with a 38-year-old man. That is so fucking disgusting. I just can't believe it. Old-ass penis, girl. And, and he's in his decline, girl. Whatever. Anyways, um... What else? Oh, Barry Weiss and Mary um, and Megan McCain. Barry Weiss is a Jewish reporter. Um, she was on The View, and she was she made a statement about all of these atrocities that are happening to Jewish people in Europe, and how she didn't she when she she when she came to America, she didn't know that stuff like that. She couldn't imagine stuff like that happening in America. Okay, the thing with um. 
the congresswoman who is saying all of these things are, are making criticism of Jewish policies and, and their laws and things like that. And they keep calling her anti-Semitic. Megan McCain got on the view talking about she was scary. She she weaponized her tears. She started, oh my God, it's so scary because I know a labor man. So now I understand what the Jewish people have gone through. Girl, shut up. Shut up. You are not Jewish. You are a white woman. And because you have all of a sudden, you don't understand. You you have all this empathy for the atrocities against the Jewish people that, that are happening in Europe. But you don't, I don't ever see these, these fucking crocodile tears when, when a nigga is shot in the back, in the back of his head. Or his back broke in the back of a paddy, a paddy wagon. His spine broken in the back of a paddy wagon. Or walking down the street with a cell phone. Or in the in the park, walking their dog. Or kids playing in the park and a cop rolling up. I didn't see no fucking tears. I don't understand where, how, empathy for one group of people does not transfer over to black people who have gone through the same fucking shit. I just don't get it. Oh, I do get it. Because you have been taught that black, something is wrong with black people. You have been taught that black people are inherently violent when history shows that it's not the black people who are inherently violent. It's their oppressors who, who travel this world, colonizing places and try, civilizing communities. And then um, saying that um, now it's ours. That's, that's, that, but you don't cry about that. You don't cry about that. I couldn't believe Megan McCain was on there. But see, you know what? What when I when I found out, I used to be impressed with Megan McCain to the point where when they would have their discussions, that she would have all of her facts and her statistics. I'm here for a diva with facts. You understand what I'm saying? I'm here for that. But then when she reported on Kamala Harris saying that she smoked weed while listening to Snoop Dogg and Tupac and I found out that she got her her report from Breitbart I said oh bitch you didn't you didn't tell your draws with me I don't believe nothing that comes out of your mouth anymore if you are get if your source of information and you and you are you are presenting it as a, a, a part of a debate or a discussion and I find out it came from Breitbart. Oh, girl, God, you you can't say nothing to me. Every time I see Megan now, I, I wonder where you got your source from. You gonna have to start saying where your sources are from, girl, because I don't you Breitbart saying that. Oh, she because what Fox News did was cut when she said she smoked weed and then cut it when she said while listening to Snoop Dogg and. Uh, um, to, and in Tupac and the timeline doesn't match and, 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 but the question wasn't they didn't report it correctly uh, you know surprisingly and Megan was reporting like oh she's lying she's gonna have to speak to that she's gonna have to speak to that girl shut up you got your news you got your sources from Breitbart I'm out you know I'm just like whatever anyway that's all I had to talk about y'all tell me I might make a video um, this afternoon I'm gonna put up, I'm gonna put up a post so that we can um, I actually want to go get something to eat so we can um, talk about talk about something this afternoon I know I'm missing I really want to talk about that um, that video of that black woman cussing out those people um, in um, what where, I felt like that was in Cleveland Ohio just by her accent I'm trying to figure out where can I go down the street I don't know I hope I can. Don't look like nobody else is down here. Anyways, I'm trying to go get something to eat. I hope this is the right way. <laughs> we gonna see. <laughs> Through these damn business parks. This don't look like the right way. <laughs> Erica, let me see. Can I turn over here? Let me see. Oh, no, it's a gate down here. Is this a street? Child, let me going down these dark roads. Let me see. Okay, I'm just going in a circle. Anyways, y'all, tell me what you think. Go watch that. Go watch that clip of Megan McCain. I know you saw her crying, talking about, I'm I'm damn near a Zionist, girl. You don't even know what the fuck that is. Damn near. How can you damn near be a Zionist, girl? <laughs> 
cause, cause, cause you know Barry Lieberman. <laughs> is out of control anyways y'all i'm out of here y'all have a wonderful day take care of each other protect your energy y'all uh we'll talk later all right peace